What's going on, Double you guys? Five. I'm here at YCS Anaheim, my boy Asian Persuasion, and we are here with the Michael Temez, aka Pikachu. Now Pikachu, man. Here with another top. And what did you do? What did you do this weekend? Uh, I finally made it past top 32. I made top 16 with Paleozoic frogs. Okay. Awesome. Let's see that hot list. So we got one swap frog, uh, three dupe frog, <laughs> two Ronin totems, and then these these things just. So three swap frogs. Two non ulti. Two non ulti swap frogs. frogs. Um, there's all the monster I played. It was the right amount. Every game, you banish these off uh, desires. It's fine. They're just fillers, and you can put them back with the, the Omega trap card. So this was the perfect ratio for the frogs, I think. You wanna wait a second? Or? No, you're good. Right. Good. You're good. So, uh, good. Three spells. We played yep. uh, three desires. Three plus one. Planetary. And we played 31 traps. Uh, <laughs> uh, three pantheism. Three MST. Uh, three Karma Cut for anything, two of the Omega, because Desire's Omega is probably one of the best combos in the game for this deck, because it's actually so far ahead. Because you can either put the Ronin Toten or the Frogs back, or you can set up your traps for next turn. Mm -hmm. um, two Book of Moon, and then two Morella. This is the this is the fullest burial for traps. And the trap card goes along with the Breakthrough Skill, which is probably the MVP card in the deck this weekend. Because if you get Denkoed, like this is your out. So every game coup, you always go Morella and Breakthrough Skill. No matter what deck it is, because you don't want to lose fucking Denko. Yeah. So, I think that's 15 Palazoics in the deck, so I wouldn't change any of the uh, ratios. This is the only one you might want to cut to two, but even then, it's, I didn't have trouble with it being a three. Easily my, my favorite trap card of the deck, Wabaku. Unfair. Like, if you draw this card, you're not losing that turn, and you're probably winning the next turn. Yeah. So, that card's totally unfair. You get it totally? totally. Yeah. Totally. Uh, two Fragrance. I'm ignorant, and I want a win turn one. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, two Barriers. It's a trap card. Chain. Um, instead of Quakings, I played Stormings. Stormings is actually better in my situation than uh, Quaking, because if you Storming like ABCs, they can still banish Special them. Quaking, Storming goes back to hand, and you just don't have to deal with it anymore. It's, again, it's a chainable trap card, too. So that's pretty good. And like combo with Barrier, like they can't penalize someone in the turn, too. So it's kind of a combo. Yeah. Um, instead of Reckless, I decided for Yadagarasu, because I'm unlucky, and I'm going to draw like, the two worst cards off of Reckless Read and just see it my two draw phase and just die. And this card just doesn't even one for one. I like Upstart. Did, did you ever draw two? No. <laughs> <laughs> I had to ask. <laughs> and then for the last cards that are non-combo pieces but are just really good are just the strikes in the morning. Uh, it's 42 cards main deck. And then, um, yeah, that's about it. Yeah. That, okay. For the side deck, I played two Max Cs. Uh, it's, it's level two first off, so you can overlay. It never happened, but you can. Um, it's good versus ABCs and stuff. That's all I cited versus and Minerva actually. Shout out to my boy Mike. Yep. Mm. Yep. Got waxed. <laughs> Got waxed. Round two. I'm sorry. It's okay. <laughs> and then uh, yeah, this is really good. I didn't want to play it last round. I was gonna play uh, Dark Holes instead, but Maxis were actually insane this weekend, so I'm glad I played those. Uh, three Lava Golems. Uh, you don't normal summon in this deck, besides like the Swap Frog, but that's really irrelevant. So Golem has been insane this weekend against heroes, hitting uh, like Tree Toad and a. Uh, you get to make Tree Toad, you get to make Bothman first, so you at least clear those, they just make the Bothman play, or Dark Claw and Tree Toad, and it's just insane. I don't side this versus ABCs, because there's more enough side than enough you need it, like it's not even better, like not even good. Uh, Regeki. I mean, for the yep. mirror match, for Dark Claws, what I lost to in top 16. Damn. <laughs> Whatever. Uh, three Cosmics for Metal Foes, for, I mean, if you really feel like you need it against ABCs, for the mirror match, which I never played. So this card's just good. Uh, three mass chains twos. Yeah, the spice. Oh, the spice. For all these are waters, so you play acid, so you can like blow opponents' back rows out, like in the mirror match, and these metal flows if you fragrance to turn one. So like this plus fragrance is literally game over. But I mean, I didn't play mirror matches, and I didn't go first with metal flows. So I two out all of them. So nice. Except for the one run five, I lost to, but I got dankoed. <laughs> and then three down just for the AB free matchup. AB yeah. free matchup. <laughs> AB. All right, let's see that extra deck. Extra uh, three uh, pals like Opa Bina Banana, whatever you call it. So um, Opa Banana. <laughs> <laughs> Let you play stuff from your hand. It's a search card and it's unexpected like monster effects. Like I can see nothing else you want in this deck. Like this card is the best card in the extra deck. Screw Tito. This is the card you want to cherries. If you cherries anything. Uh, to go along with, you got to uh, hit this guy. I only made one of them, so you only really need one. So I would cut one of these for a third tree toad because I only have two. So, I mean, I did what I had to do. I needed it once, the third one today, but I still won that game. Uh, sky cavalry for spot removal and the bouncing stuff. My favorite combo in the game. Yep. You can make this combo with these almost every game and just kill them through anything. Yeah. So like if you have like two traps in the grave, a, like a swap for a turn one, you just actually win. Because this is like 6,000 and whatever they have on the field. Mm -hmm. So this is actually is insane. This is why the, I made this combo like probably like 12 to 15 times in the tournament today. 
So that was insane. Uh, I didn't make that guy. I made him once. I didn't attack Mass Chain. This is good in theory. This is good in theory. This is good in theory. Mm. It's good. All right. Any shout outs? Oh, plenty. So, Kevin Regini, first off, because he actually let me borrow the deck like the night before on Black Friday or Thursday. So, I'm just like, hey, I don't play Blue Eyes anymore. Give me a deck. Okay. Uh, we have also, again, Jonas Truins and Yuri Landsman because they helped me out with their deck list again. Them Germans know what they're doing with these decks. They do. So, them. My shout out to my boy Roger who came with me. Roger. King Minerva. Shout out to both of y'all, Johnny and Mike, you know, yeah. always here for me, yep. always trying. Pikachu. Pikachu, yeah, all Pikachu, day. man. I always gotta bring it through. You yeah. broke that? You broke the past the top 32 yeah. curse. Uh, shout out to Team Omega who came with us. I We actually came with them, so stayed there hotel and stuff. <laughs> shout out to Team Make Houston Great again. I'm the only one who came from the team and I top, so hey. we did something right, right? Nice. Yes, <laughs> uh, everyone who helped me out with this deck, who gave me stuff, anyone who just believed in me in top 32 from finally beating it. Yeah. You got it, man. Next time so you're gonna happens. win it, right? I'm gonna yeah. try my best. Maybe I'll have more practice with this deck, so I won't yeah. just get bodied by everything. Yeah. For sure, man. Congrats. Thank Congrats. you so much. Congrats. Appreciate it. Later.